Here are a few safety tips to keep in mind when operating the heating and temperature controls on the bed. Whenever possible, preheat your bed so it's ready to go when your patient arrives. If you happen to start the bed with the canopy open, the bed has a warm-up mode that will operate at 100% power for 10 minutes, then automatically reduce to 50%. Select the appropriate mode, manual, air, or baby. If you are in manual mode, you will need to set your heat output. If you are in baby or air mode, set your temperature and place a temperature probe on the baby. Once the patient is admitted, do not keep the bed in the manual mode at 100% power for extended periods of time. You can use manual mode with the temperature probe to monitor the patient's temperature. But remember, it will not control the radiant heater output in manual mode. You must be in baby mode for the radiant heater output to be controlled by the baby's skin temperature probe. In addition to the temperature probe, you should verify the patient's temperature periodically with a secondary monitor, such as a thermometer. Using a skin temperature probe is recommended. Ensure it's connected to the temperature probe jack of your bed. Here are some tips for placing a temperature probe. Place the temperature probe securely on the reflective patch and then securely to the patient's skin, pressing and holding to ensure good contact. It can be placed on the back or abdomen, depending on whether the patient is prone or supine. Alternately, consider placing on the axilla. The reflective patch should be reflective foil side up. Both the disposable and reusable temperature probes should be placed this way. Do not use the temperature probe without the reflective patch. It is very important that you only use GE Healthcare temperature probes with your beds. Using probes from other manufacturers may cause inaccurate temperature readings and haven't been verified by GE Healthcare for use with your bed equipment. Do not place the probe between the baby and the mattress. A few other things to keep in mind about temperature probes. There are two types available, disposable and reusable. When packaged together, disposable probes come with a smaller heat reflecting patch already attached and are white. Disposable temperature probes cannot be cleaned. Do not reuse disposable temperature probes. The reusable probe has a round metal disc at the patient end. Remember, when wiping clean, start at one end of the probe, the tip or the plug, and clean the probe by moving the cloth towards the middle of the probe cord to the other end. Do not start at the middle of the cord and move the cloth towards the plug or tip end of the probe. This may stress the connection between the cord and the tip or plug due to an abrupt stop when reaching the tip or plug. Take care not to pull on the probe wire. When storing the reusable probe cord, do not stress the connection between the cord and the plug or tip. Do not tightly wind the probe cord or sharply bend the cord at either the tip or the plug end. This is how to store the reusable temperature probe. When doing kangaroo care, Maintaining the baby's temperature is important. Here's how to set up temperature alarms when doing kangaroo care. Press Setup. Scroll to Skin Temp Alarm and remove from Off by selecting 0.5 or 1 degree Celsius. This will set the alarm compliance limit at either 0.5 or 1 degree Celsius. This prompts the system to notify you when the patient's temperature changes beyond your chosen limit in manual mode while the parent is holding their baby. Temperature control is important and should be monitored and maintained closely. Adjust baby mode temperature as necessary to get the correct temperature at the remote measurement site, such as axilla or rectum. Here are some reminders for optimal temperature monitoring. Observe the patient frequently, looking for signs of heat stress, such as skin redness, warmth to touch, diaphoresis, or increased heart rate. Check the patient's temperature at least every two hours with an independent temperature measurement at a remote site, such as the axilla or rectum. If the patient shows more than a typical 0.5 degrees Celsius or 0.9 degrees Fahrenheit difference, 
between the abdominal skin temperature and a remote site, such as the axilla or rectum, consider the following actions. Verify the skin temperature probe has a good skin contact using a reflective patch. Move the temperature probe to another site, such as the axilla, and continue to monitor the patient's temperature. Adjust the set temp as needed to meet the desired temperature at the independent measurement site, such as axilla or rectum. Lastly, place the bed in air mode and adjust the temperature as needed to meet the desired temperature per independent measurement, such as axilla or rectum. However, baby mode should be used whenever possible. Do not place tubing or hoses in the path of the radiant heater. Remember, do not touch the heater element, reflector, grill, or exhaust duct on the back of your bed. 